Here we go, guys. Let's get this Lambo. I'll well, have to use it. This place has a pretty cool inventory. Apparently, they're a Lotus dealer. This was all Ferrari. They had two Bugattis. They've had Koenigseggs, Paganis, this and that. When they have a six by six, looking at a bunch of things yesterday. It was an awesome, awesome day at this car dealership. Friendly guys, not just friendly, but with a cool selection as well and transparent. So it's like, how are we not gonna make a deal happen? We did. We've also got a Pista. They've got a 599, a Ford got a 575, a six by six. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna spend six by six money, but like, it's a six by six. What? I think I'm actually too small to be able to comfortably buy one of these and feel good about myself. No one would think I wasn't compensating. I would be compensating, for sure. All right, anyways, moving on. So I was talking to Tyler Hoover, Hoovie's Garage, a good friend of mine. I honestly don't know a ton about old school classic Ferraris. I know this is an old school, old school. I'm the Lambo guy, in, in my opinion. I love Lamborghini through and through. So I know about the Jalpas and the Countachs. I was like, oh, a, a 348 manual. Black interior, flawless paint, carbon fiber. I mean, that is pretty dang cool. A lot of people know about these cars. These catch on fire. These are legendary 575s. I mean, it just looks sexy. Testarossa, I mean, you can't hate a V12 Ferrari. Pretty hard to. Well, they just detailed it. It already looks spectacular, but. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> oh my God, would you look at would you look at that? I'm on top of the world right now, guys. I mean, five years ago, I built this channel, got a Gallardo. Five years later, worked my butt off, and, and here we are buying one in cash, literally. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much for the support. You guys are killing it. We're killing it together. You guys spoke. You wanted something more of a good buy. None of this new overpriced stuff. A good buy. This is already depreciated. End of the day, you guys saw how much I got it for. 85,000 cash and the car used to be 225, 230,000. Using our Jedi software, <laughs> MMR, we ended up, uh, I mean, we basically stole the car. They admitted it and only because we're gonna develop a long-term mutually beneficial relationship am I able to admit that out loud. I, mean, no, I didn't steal it, I paid 85,000 cash, but I got such a good deal. They didn't make a lot on the deal at all, at all, at all, but we're good people. We're gonna come back, I mean, subscribe get some views to the channel, and then all of a sudden it's like, it's Tuesday at CNC. Testarossa time, you know? That's my dream anyways. I wanna walk into, one, one day, you know, when I'm like 26, I wanna walk into the candy store that is CNC and just be like, well, I'll take a black chocolate truffle and a, and a you know, a blonde, blonde scouters 3000, please. And uh, of course the uh, cream white, cream fresh edition. And also, before we hop in this, this place is so distracting, guys. It's like, I, I just bought a freaking Gallardo, yet I'm like, what do they have? Look at that, Demon. Didn't know they had Demon. My boy Lee from Limp Biscuit, Dude, I'm just saying. Dude, I'm just saying, I, I hear that you like F100, so we got an F100 next to your F100. With some flames, with some flames on it. That's, that's money, dude. I could run around this dealer. I, I'm pretty sure I can make a vlog that's four million hours long just at this, come this way. Six hundred LT carbon fiber roof, center seat, same wheels as mine. Every carbon fiber, uh, what? Every carbon fiber option, no carbon fiber side skirts. Interesting. Oh, never mind. This isn't carbon or carbon. Still badass spec, dude. White on a six hundred with all the black accents. That's pretty cool. Twelve C Spider. This actually the MSO X. A couple buddy of mine um, kind of commissioned with McLaren down in Newport to make a custom McLaren race car how they wanted it. And you'll notice it's the same scoop that comes on my 600 LT. This actually came first. I don't want to quote the number wrong, but I believe they only made 10 of them, literally 10. And that's why to this day, yep, it is really expensive. I mean, stationary wing, the only difference between this and the 600 is they didn't have the uh, center seats. They got P1 seats with the exact same roll cage and harness bar, carbon roof, roof scoop, and then they don't have the center exhaust coming out the back. 720S, I mean, these guys have deals on deals, right? These things are 400 grand. Dark purple, that's badass. Well, it doesn't say, but I guarantee it's not 400 grand anymore. It says a 360 MSRP. Dude, I want every car in this dealer. 
I know the owner now, very friendly guy, but, but work with me, please. As we are, are you kidding? New G-Wagon, you know? <laughs> and then it gets legendary over here, guys. It's like, what? Airpool Porsche, that's money. R8 Spider. thought it was a manual, but still 85 grand for that, that's amazing. Okay, this will be the last one because I could go here all day. This is, uh, I'm pretty positive, an E5 AMG or a first uh, year of the E63. It's an E55, so I want your guys' opinion on this, um, and this could be cool for the future. This car was actually, I was in debate uh, with myself for a very long time before I got my M5, which started the channel, as you guys know. For, uh, these were a tiny bit more, so I'm glad I got the M5. M5 was 17K, these were about 20. The M5 new was like 70K, this was new for about 80K. Depreciation had taken its toll. It was a good buy. What's the cool part about this? Look, it's a V8 and it's supercharged and you can do a smaller pulley, a tune, and then easily it's making in the 500 horsepower and then the high 500 pound-feet of torque. Whereas the M5, cheaper, more reliable-ish, <laughs> um, manual only. This automatic only, but like, dude, this thing is so money. Factory, I believe, I don't wanna misquote it, but 479 horsepower from the factory, little smaller pulley, little tune action, and you're talking 600 horsepower. The paddles are like little buttons. That's actually, it seems chintzy, but it's actually, it, it feels perfect. It comes with air suspension, which if you guys are, you know, looking for a maintenance friendly car, usually air suspension isn't, uh, isn't the most uh, friendly, but if you know what you're doing and you look and you can service the air suspension without just taking the Mercedes and going, please help me. Same with Range Rovers, older Range Rovers, the air suspension always breaks, but, there's always a solution to every problem, and there's usually a guy who can fix your stuff for way cheaper uh, than a dealership. These guys have their own service department. They were able to check the Gallardo clutch and make sure it was fine using a flashlight uh, through a little port window because I said, look, I, I need to know. The clutches allegedly are made of cheese from the moon. That's uh, a quote from Lamborghini themselves. That, that's not true, but they uh, on the forums, they would say, you know, is, is the clutch made of cheese? And I would be on the, oh, whoa there. Tripping over a speedster, why don't you? Um, it turns out the clutches are not made of cheese. I tried to eat my clutch after it broke and it was disgusting. <laughs> it was made of Kevlar, it turns out. Um, I got a Gallardo. I'm like, I'm like running around frantically like a little girl and then finally I remembered that it's time to go um, back to class. Uh, it's in here. So I'm gonna pull this out. We're gonna go for a rip. We're gonna take it home. I'm gonna drive to the canyons and I'm gonna have a Gallardo for the rest of the history of the channel or whatever. Hold on, hold on. I did this with my freaking, uh, come to the front. I did this with my um, Huracan when I bought it. You know, the, the Gallardo was my dream, and then unfortunately, it got into an accident, so on and so forth. I got the Huracan, and I really, I took a picture like this. And I will remember, literally, my face pressed against a weird piece of metal uh, while everyone's looking at me, which is exactly what's happening right now, and I was so happy, so I really just don't care at all. Remember, if you're happy, and you're doing the right thing, no one else matters. Um, other than your family and friends, but yeah. Switch blade, obviously useful. I guess, you know, normally I don't leave my glasses places, but now that this is legally my car. Okay, I take flatbed now, it has zero miles to empty. 
Deuces. I'm so happy, guys. And I hope you are too. This feels like a win for me and the channel at the same time. So if you're not subscribed yet, I'm not going to force you. I'd like it. I also, you know, I don't talk about vvgear.com. Uh, link in the description below. <laughs> I just bought a Lamborghini in cash, my dream car. And there's more information. There's not really any more information because we don't talk about it. Uh, about, there's not actually, but check out vvgear.com. Link in description. Link in bio. Link in LinkedIn. LinkedIn your mom. Okay? I, I'll LinkedIn. <laughs> I'll just, <laughs> just check out your mom's LinkedIn. Make sure it's legit, is what I meant to say by that. Because business is business. And, uh, and Bartle do. I feel like David that's, Dobrik right now. That's the best. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, the audio outside is not that great, so I decided to drive it back inside. In the next video, I'm going to drive this thing home, and I'm going to drive my new Gallardo home. End of story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I thank you so much for the support. I look forward to seeing you next video. Like